We're in Bend, Oregon, and everybody loves flowers. And perhaps one of the most beautiful flowers is lavender, and I'm in a field of it. The Tumalo Lavender Farm is a 10-acre garden filled with the sweet fragrance of 10,000 mature plants, all grown organically, pollinated by busy bees. It's a labor of love for Gordon and Judy Knight, who a decade ago left professional careers in the travel industry to follow their heart's desire to be surrounded by beautiful and practical lavender. Mmm, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Isn't that great? It really is. Beautiful Not only color. beautiful to look at, but beautiful to smell. What could you tell us about the history of lavender? Well, lavender will date back um, over 2,000 years. Uh, it's been used mainly in Europe. Um, quite a few years ago, I made it to the U.S. But during the uh, Great Wars in Europe, lavender was the first line of medic uh, medicinal um, help, cleansing wounds, helping the healing process. The local hospital uses the lavender to help uh, their patients become comfortable before they are injected with needles or whatever. So tell me about aromatherapy. Okay, the aromatherapy is one of the best things with lavender oil uh, because it uh, is so um, calming. Uh, massage therapists will use the lavender oil when they're uh, using on their uh, clients. Okay, I really want to grow this, can I? Okay, lavender actually is very easy to grow. Depending on your soil type, if you have a real sandy soil that the water will drain out easily, well, um, lavender will flourish. It takes very little uh, fertilizer. It's somewhat of a drought tolerant plant. If you have a soil base that is more of a clay, then that's a few more challenges. You'll have to um, maybe raise the root level up on uh, using a different kind of a soil or rock or sand just so they can drain good. How many times have you been stung? Actually, I have never been stung. Um, the majority of the bees that are on our lavender here are honeybees. They don't like to be, uh, they don't try to sting. They just like to get in there and get their whatever. Tumalo Lavender now ships its plants and the many products made from them across the nation through direct order from nurseries and over the internet through its website. I was amazed at how many ways lavender can be used and got to wondering. Now we travel around in our RV all the time. How can lavender improve our RV atmosphere? Well, the dried lavender would be wonderful. Uh, the sachets, um, well, just has a beautiful uh, fragrance. So you can hang it off your review mirror, you can put it in the drawer or, or whatever. While Mike was shooting video, I did some shopping. Are you buying all that stuff? You bet I am. Happy wife, happy life. I bought a lot of lavender for gifts and for our motor home. We've been on the road a long time this season, and the lavender will do wonders. I am so excited. You know how good a new RV smells? Well, with this, it's going to smell even better. Road trekking across America, I'm Jennifer Wendland.